the greatest poker show on earth is back with its toughest lineup yet and $1.25 million in the prize pool. This is the ultimate contest of the best in the world. I want to show the world I'm the best holding player in the world still now today. I've just won the World Series of Poker main event and I'm here to prove that I'm not a fluke by winning the Premier League. The key is you have to be prepared to die if you want to win. There hasn't been a game of no one holding in a while where I didn't think I was the best player at the table. They don't want to lose to me. They couldn't bear it. I just can't help thinking that I, I have an edge here. The success in poker is not about never falling, it's about rising every time you fall. If the cards break even in this Premier League, the fish is going to win. If you want to come to the top table, you're going to have your credentials tested. In order to gain the respect from everyone else, you have to definitely win the title. There's nothing like winning a tournament. It's just the greatest feeling. That's what I'm out to do. I'm the defending champion. That's it. They have to try and beat me. What will happen when egos collide, pride is wounded, and one becomes the champion of champions? Poker is the greatest game in the world, man. The heart and commitment to the game. You're not gonna mess with a G. You gonna let me run you over? This is ridiculous. Come on, man. You're the one that's supposed to run me over. Oh, shit. Can I get another glass of wine? Is there another? One more glass of red wine. <sighs> Thank God. I mean, have you lost your mind? Seriously. Man. Oh, fish, you said something oh. stupid. You know it. Are you trying to tell the world that you know more about poker than I do? Lock the door. That's how you do it. Now we got a game. <laughs> <laughs> I feel your heart. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Robots it's don't strong. have a heart. Strong. You got a beautiful pie as well. Yeah, true. You're good at telling people to ride bikes. That's Miley, let's opinion. get a ruling. What's going on here, Mike? You're yeah, losing complete control of the tournament. Show us how world class you are. I mean, he used to interview you, and now he's bullying <laughs> you on TV. <laughs> like you're nothing. I mean, you how you're really trying hard to be entertaining, but <laughs> my god. <laughs> you better leave that to me. I'm a pro. <laughs> you I can't shake your hand today, you. You've been too, uh, I did? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Bagel. I hate this. I hate poker. This is sick. Don't do it! <laughs> He's got me all confused. Tom. Don't talk to you. <laughs> Fucking hate this game. Got you guys all dominated right now. All right. You all right. A, you take a jacket. Here we go. Oh. You ever say anything nice to me, Annie? My girlfriend thinks you look like a chip on <laughs> what the fuck, man? If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Clap your hands, baby, one time. I'm not happy. <laughs> Starting to be pretty angry. I came to play. Let's make no mistake about it. I heard you were an aggressive player. I heard you were a calling station. <laughs> <laughs> if you're happy and you know, it, clap your hands. Right. Am I getting out of line? Right. Give me a warning. Welcome to the Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. It's an incredible lineup of players this season, and the buzz and hype surrounding this event is huge. This is the title that everyone wants to take down. What makes the Premier League special is not only its superstar lineup, but of course its unique league format. Let's take a look at how it works. It's a 12-match league season, at the end of which the point standings determine who goes through to the final table. The top four point-getters go straight there, automatic promotion, while the middle four are in the playoff zone. Fifth through to eighth will play heads-up matches to get those final two tickets at the six-seater final table. The bottom four in the league get relegated straight home. Points mean final table chips at a conversion rate of $10,000 per point garnered in the league. Let's take a look at the scoring. Each Premier League match allocates 25 points in the league standings. The winner of the table gets 10 points, runner-up earns 6 points, 3rd place gets 4 points, 4th 3 points, 5th place takes 2 points, and 6th place gets the bagel, the big zero. In the event of players tying on points at the end of 12 matches, the player with the highest finishes will be ahead. And there's prize money at stake as well, as each point earns a player $2,000 in cash. Bring them in for this first heat of Premier League Poker. Thrilled to be joined by someone who will be playing in this event, lovely Vicky Corrin. Vicky, are you anywhere near as excited as me? I couldn't sleep last night. I'm beyond excited. It's the lineup, and it doesn't get any bigger than the World Series champion, Peter Eastgate. And in seat number two, someone everyone knows a lot about, but maybe not live, is a uh, net 15 overstop. I love this kid. I'm not looking forward to playing against him. In seat number three, uh, everyone knows him on the other well, side um, of the pond, but on this side, he's never played in oh, Europe before, no, JC Tran. In seat yeah. number four, they'll always be gunning for the Devilfish. 
Yeah, he's always going to be the best, isn't he? Traditionally so unlucky in this Premier League format, but yeah, he's got to do it eventually. And on his left is the defending champion, Andy Black. And uh, rounding out this top half of the field is Roland DeWolf. You can see the chips on the table. Yellow's worth a thousand, blues are two, reds five thousand each. There's a hundred thousand in front of every player and six hundred K in play. Here we go, off and running. And Vicky, I think what makes this Premier League great is lies. Not the little ones, but the big ones. It's all lies. I mean, you should have seen him this morning. You know, nice to see you. They didn't mean it. I'm going to play tight. They're not really. Not a word that comes out of these mouths is the truth. I'd be really interested to see uh, how Eastgate and Annette, uh, how they're going to handle this. They look a little wide-eyed right now. Well, they're young. Weren't you wide-eyed when you were young? <laughs> oh, yeah. And I mean, look who they're up against. Eastgate's raised from the button here called... In both the blinds, this is a bit of a powerhouse between the three. 15,000 in the pot. Ooh. And let's hit. Check. But the, what is fascinating is the chance to Check. watch Peter Eastgate play. You know, he won the World Series. We don't know how he plays. None of the people at this table know how he plays. I mean, this is fantastic. This is, this is a dream. It's like when you want to look through the window of your best friend's house without her knowing. How about this? How about the fact that the first pot we've got is the three players oh. who have not played this format yeah, before? I mean, everybody says you have to play tight early. Um, now, both these players have about 10% of their stacks in. Is it too much? And that's flop top pair. She's check called the flop here. Is she being, she's being very careful, obviously. I wonder if there is a bet that can get paid here. I'm guessing no. It's not a not much she could have well, that uh, seven's beat, is there? Yeah, there weren't any draws on the flop. You know, Eastgate can't think she's called with any kind of flush draw or straight draw on that board. No, he's got away. And first blood yeah, is for Overstock. Youngest player in the Premier League, Vicky, and she's had the best start. Norwegian Annette Overstock is regarded as one of the best online tournament players. She's also proved her credentials live by winning a million pounds and the World Series of Poker Europe title at just 19 years of age. I have a lot to live up to, and I think there's a lot of pressure on me in this tournament to do well, so I'm gonna do my best to do what people expect me to do. Being a girl at a table with nine boys, it, it can be intimidating at times. It just depends like what you think of yourself, and if you do have the confidence, you can easily beat them. You like to talk trash about people when they're not around, and I know I shouldn't be doing that, and I have been doing it in interviews and stuff, and I kind of regret it because I get a lot of shit about it in other forums and stuff, so I've kind of stopped doing it, so I'm trying to like show respect to the players, but it's a little hard if I think they're really, really bad. And I don't want to sound arrogant or anything, but uh, you know, since I have that much experience playing in heats that, or symbols like this, I, I just can't help thinking that uh, I, I have an edge here. Premier League newbies on the left side of the table, old guard on the right. And I can't remember ever seeing a table this tough on television before. Pass. Raise to 5,000. JC Tran, cut off raise. Pass. Call. <laughs> I mean, one of the really exciting things is going to be to find out how quickly these players adjust to the format. The wheels are off. <laughs> they are. <laughs> you lost one hand, yeah? The blinds went through. Here's Eastgate peeling off the big blind with the jack eight suited. I mean, it's not a huge pop, but it is 5,000 per player. You wouldn't expect 8-5 to be a... Well, that's nice for JC Tran. He's hit the ace. I certainly don't remember what happened. See, I play in the dark a lot, guys, so... Does he want nice to play to this, that you're so. taking the, the competition seriously. Check. Well, I was going to say, uh, if I were him, I might well, check it, because he might pass. be concerned that someone's called him with a bigger race, but, you know, it's improbable that if he bets out and gets a large race, he's in an uncomfortable position, whereas he's controlling the pot size here. He thinks he's good, but he doesn't want to get things out of hand. I mean, not just that. Look, he's, he's gotten action from a guy who's only drawn to two outs. This is very profitable, what's going on for him right now. Yes, it is, and Andy Black may think that this deuce on the turn is good, and he may think it's a blank, and his sixes are winning. 